So one of the common disclaimers with crypto on DeFi is to do your own research before aping into a project. But how do we do our own research? How do we find gems before they moon or we see a wave early so that we can jump on? Well, today in this video, I'm gonna show you how I find gems in the DeFi space through some pretty great and free tools. So let's jump in, but first hit that like button. Okay, so the first tool that I use pretty often is DeFi Llama. And I'll show you some of the important tabs on here and what you can keep an eye out on. Now, something big that we want to keep an eye on on DeFi is TVL, which is total value locked. And this is across chain. This is in certain projects. And oftentimes, if the TVL is increasing, people are, you know, putting more confidence in uh, the project or the chain or the protocol. Now, this is total TVL across everything specifically DeFi. So you can see in the last 24 hours, it has gone up 2.21% and there's 197 billion uh, locked in DeFi across all of these different projects, chains, everything else. Now, when you go into here, you can see that the top TVL project is Curve, which is on Ethereum, Polygon, Phantom, XDAI, and Arbitrum. So if you want to look, okay, what are the top TVL on Ethereum? You can see, again, Curve is the top project. Convex Finance has 8.7 billion. Uh, I have a big bet on Convex. And you can see it has grown its TVL pretty consistently over time. Now, a good place to understand, okay, what are the projects on different chains? You can go on here and you can find, okay, let's see, Solana is a you know, on a tear right now. Let's look at the project specifically on Solana. And you can see that Sabre, which is a fork of Curve. So it's a stable coin swap essentially on Solana. And it is the top uh, project by TVL on Solana. But you can also look for trends. So let's see, okay, in the last seven days, what has been the highest gainer uh, in TVL on this project called Sunny is here. So if I click on, on the Sunny website, you can see that it is a DeFi yield aggregator on Solana. So this is a good place to find new projects, to find, you know, what is increasing in TVL, to see where people's confidence is going. If you look at Avalanche, uh, you can see here that it's pretty, you know, flatline for most of the year. And then August 18th, it had this spike and that's because Curve and Aave both announced that they were launching a liquidity mining program on Avalanche. And you can see here the price on the TVL, just like complete hockey stick. And it keeps going up and they're not even there yet. So as of you know October 3rd, they have not uh, started on the platform yet. So I see this going up even further. Now, Trader Joe is the sushi of... Uh, Avalanche. I mean, Sushi is on Avalanche also, but Trader Joe has more uh, liquidity on there than Sushi does. And then you, if you look by seven day change, okay, what's going up? This Wonderland Time Project, uh, Penguin Finance, Abracadabra. So you can find projects as they are increasing in TVL. And if people are putting their money somewhere, usually it's a sign that uh, there's confidence in the platform. Maybe there's some rewards happening. And that's where you should start looking at, okay, you know, what's happening over here. Benki is like Aave on uh, Avalanche because Aave has not gone over there. So it's a lending borrowing protocol. I think when Aave does launch with all of their liquidity rewards, um, this is going to decrease as people move their money over to for better uh, rewards. But this is a great place to um, find TVL and see what where people are moving their money and also what chains people are moving their money to. So Terra, which just went through a big call five release, you can see here how people are moving their money more over to Terra and, and up and to the right. So maybe what should we be looking at over there? So Default Lama is a great place to find where people are moving their money. At Phantom, that's also been out of tear. And you can see here, huge growth. Uh, even throughout the year when the price was super low, it was gradually increasing. And then, and they just launched a liquidity program as you see up here and the TVL is just going nuts. Now, this is a new feature that DeFi Llama just launched, which is airdrops. 
So this is interesting because the airdrops, this is basically projects that don't yet have a token that if you use them and they come out with a token, they're more likely to uh, airdrop their top users, their token, if and when they release it. So, so I've used Hot Protocol to use from Ethereum to Matic. I've also used AnySwap. They already have a token, so they're not going to be on here. So basically, if you uh, want to get potentially airdropped a token when it comes out, you would use uh, one of these uh, to hopefully get that. Now, when Uniswap first came out with their token, they airdropped anyone who had ever used Uniswap 400 uni, which you know, in today's dollars is something like 10 or 11,000. So these airdrops can be really lucrative. DEXs, so these are the top DEXs uh, by TVL. Now you can also look by, you know, what's increasing in the last seven days. So you see this thing called shell protocol, what's that? Because it's just completely gone nuts over the last seven days. Um, solar beam, soul swap. So you can also look and see where people are trending to and then potentially, you know, make a small bet on something that is just gathering steam. So essentially, DeFi Llama will just give you a really good overall look at the DeFi space and show you what's what, what projects are taking off, uh, what are maybe decreasing in TVL and, and uh, just keep an eye on this because this is probably one of my favorite tools for, you know, just tracking what is going on in the DeFi space. All right, so the next tool I like to use is Token Terminal, which tells you the revenue per protocol. Um, so this is different than TVL. TVL is the amount of money locked into something, but it's not the revenue that they're generating. So when we look at DeFi Llama TVL, you know, Curve is not making 4.72 uh, billion. They are making, you know, 2.5 million um, over the last 30 days. So this is a good place to look both at chains. So Ethereum is making in the last 30 days, 774.6 million, which if you've been in DeFi, you're probably not surprised at because it's crazy how much you're paying for stuff. So it's both the chains and the uh, dApps. So you can see here that OpenSea in the last 30 days, 65.6 million. That is not the... Uh, that's the money that they are making through fees. It's not the amount of money they're generating through sales, just their fees. Uh, MetaMask, uh, 14 million. They don't actually have a token yet, which is another uh, one of these where maybe you want to do some swaps on MetaMask just in case they ever airdrop a token. Urine Finance, 7.7 .7 million. Aave, 4.7. You see here Curve is 2.5. Trader Joe which is only on Avalanche is 2.8 million. And then you see Compound is 3.4 million, which, you know, these are not that different. But if you think of per market cap, like Trader Joe has a much lower market cap than Compound. So is Trader Joe undervalued uh, if Joe? <laughs> and sometimes when I'm looking at this, I actually go to market cap of, which gives you the market cap if, it was the same size as another project. So if Joe was the same size per market cap of Compound Finance, it would have a price of $21.30 because it is generating, you know, 2.8 million and Compound is generating 3.4. So there's only 600K between them in fees, but, but Compound has a seven, 0.6x market cap. So it's 7.6 times bigger, but it doesn't make that much more uh, in revenue. Token Terminal is a great place to give you a business overview of the most you know, profitable projects, maybe undervalued projects, undervalued blockchains. Uh, you can see here that Ethereum is the number one blockchain, but also then there's Filecoin, which is second, which I had no idea. And maybe that's somewhere that we want to put our money or optimism. Uh, Solana has been on a real run, but it's only made 1.9 million because the fees are so small. So I do I want to move some money over from Solana to another uh, chain. So this is a great place to just do some research on the projects that are actually making money and what their, you know, price to earnings or price to sale ratio is. 
The next tool that I use to track user growth is DAP Radar. So when you come on here, you can track and analyze and understand growth of new projects. So there's games, uh, play to earn, DeFi, NFTs, exchanges. You can use this to basically see what is growing uh, the fastest. So here, uh, over the last, let's say, seven days, I can see that this thing on Binance Smart Chain has gained 30.48% uh, over the last seven days. So I'm thinking, okay, well, what's going on over here? Do they have some sort of, you know, farm going on? So if I click over here, let's see what's going on. Yeah, they obviously have, you know, launched uh, here's some stablecoin farms. So yeah, it's obviously some sort of farm situation going on. Uh, Let's see what else we can see here. If I want to look at specific uh, chains, so say I want to look at Avalanche. All right, so sometimes they tag things. Actually, this is an ad, but sometimes they tag things wrong. So um, Trader Joe on Avalanche is not tagged DeFi, even though it is DeFi. So just be careful about that. Farmers only finance. Okay, what's this? This has gained over a thousand percent in the last uh, week. So if I go over here, I'll figure out what exactly it is. Just like I thought some sort of farm, which actually hasn't even started yet. So if I go on here, I can see, okay, this has over 1.7 million TVL. Uh, they actually only have a hundred tokens minted. So if we, I look at the farm, that's why it's, you know, 87,000% uh, APY. So, you know, if you've done the farming stuff before, you know kind of more of what that means. But this is where you find both new projects, new uh, users, like what people are doing. And you can even uh, only select brand new projects. So if you want to see, all right, what's this frog DeFi? There's 110 users, which obviously is not very much, but maybe it's something that I want to check out. So has $37,000 locked. Uh, nothing so interesting on here, but that's just an example of how you could maybe find new farms early, um, find interesting projects uh, before they really launch. Uh, just check out things early uh, if you want. Now, if you're interested in uh, games, games, obviously new users are really important for them. So if you go maybe on games, obviously new user growth on gaming is probably the most important metric. So if I go on here, I can see, all right, which projects have grown the most in the last seven days. Okay, there's this ARC-8 on Polygon has grown 269%. Um, there's this, you know, bomb crypto on Binance Smart Chain. That looks interesting uh, because their new user growth has grown so much. Um, maybe Nifty League Degens, uh, which is almost 400%. So this is just an example of showing you how you do research using DAP Radar. You're basically looking for trends, looking for new users, like what people are buying. You could use it for NFTs. Uh, if you're into finding out what people are buying, I think uh, you know OpenSea and Rarity Tools are also, you know, probably better ways to do that. But if you want to just go to one site and look and see what's trending, DAP Radar is a great spot for that. So the next tool I use is CoinGecko. Um, we've all heard of it. If you have a portfolio, this is what I have on my phone to check prices. But when I'm doing research, I want to look at, okay, what are people looking for? So what's trending? So Solana's trending, uh, this thing UFO gaming, I, I have some of that. Um, it's an NFT play. I don't know a ton about it, but I do know uh, I have some friends that are super bullish on it. So I, I like that that's trending. If I didn't already have that, I'd be looking into that. Avalanche, uh, Star Atlas, uh, Terra, you know, uh, Joe, which we know from the Avalanche network. Um, these are different things that if I'm interested, I want to look, okay, what should I be thinking about? So Joe, for example, if I click on uh, Joe, you can see that it is down, you know, 40% from all time high. 
I do know it is the main decks on Avalanche. So if I go on here and I look at chains and I click on Avalanche, and you can see here that we are increasing. I know that Curve is coming soon. I know that Ave is coming soon. So more money will flow to Avalanche. More liquidity will flow there. Uh, Trader Joe is the is the second highest by TVL. Uh, and I know that liquidity is going to come and it's 40% down from all time high. So this might be something that I would look into buying. And I probably will uh, just because the price looks really good. So that's an example of how you use these tools together. Um, if I wanted to see the top trending coins per country, I might look at that. If I wanted to look at recently added, uh, um, then perhaps I'd look at TVL or uses on DAP radar of these new uh, coins that have been recently added. So, you know, I'm, I might start, you know, taking some of these new coins, putting them into uh, DeFi Llama or DAP radar and try to figure out, okay, are there any gems in here that could possibly um, explode? That might be where I would start. Axie Infinity, I know they just uh, opened some staking uh, program and you can see this price chart over the last 90 days is just, just keeps going up. So, you know, in July, this was $12.24 and now it is 127. So this is just, parabolic in its rise. Uh, it's a play to earn game. But if I'm seeing this rise so much, like what else is like it? Uh, and I might go on to DeFi Llama and try to understand what might the next gem be like Axie Infinity? Or how does UFO gaming compare to, uh, it's also a play to earn game. How does that compare to Axie? Is this going to be the next thing? So that's kind of some examples of how I use both DAP Radar, CoinGecko, DeFi Llama, and then Token Terminal to understand pricing and what might be undervalued or overvalued depending on you know what it is. Now the last tool that I kind of talked about earlier in the video is market cap off. This is really simple, but it's essentially comparing market caps across different projects so that you can understand, okay, so let's just say Avalanche takes off and it is the main dex of Avalanche and people that are now using PancakeSwap on BSC, they now decide to use Avalanche as their... If Trader Joe got to be the same buy market cap of PancakeSwap, then it as a token with the same market cap of PancakeSwap would be $48.12. So 17x from where it is not. So if I'm looking at different chains, so let's say uh, Binance is number two, and I start to see the, the TVL dropping on Binance, and I see the TVL increasing on Avalanche. What I might think is, okay, well, Trader Joe is the main dex of Avalanche, and people are moving off of PancakeSwap. Maybe I should be investing more money in Joe because it's undervalued, um, especially when you look at uh, Token Terminal. And you can see that currently in the last 30 days with nothing else, it's making 2.8 million. Now, uh, PancakeSwap made 17.5, but if I'm seeing on DeFi Llama that Binance is dropping in their TVL and people are moving over to Avalanche, that might be something that I want to bet on. So that's just a couple of examples of how I use these different tools to you know, find gems, to see what's undervalued, to see what's overvalued that I could get out of. And um, it's worked pretty good. So I hope this was helpful. If you like this and you want more stuff like this, uh, comment, like this video, and I will see you next time.